Welcome to Positive Parenting Today. I'm Jacqueline Muniz from the Children's Services Council of Palm Beach County, your host for today's show. The concept of touch points is a different approach to thinking about child development. It is a theory based on the work of Dr. T. Barry Brazelton, world-renowned expert in pediatrics and child development. Dr. Brazelton states that there are eight touch points of child development in the first year of a child's life, beginning prenatally. At the newborn touch point, new parents may experience a mix of emotions from joy, happiness, and fatigue to self-doubt and anxiety. Dr. Brazelton states that anxiety in the first few weeks following the birth of a child serves a vital purpose for parents by calling up energy to help them meet new responsibilities of caring for their newborn. Learning to be a parent takes time. It is a long process built on trial and error, but it is through this process that parents get to know their child and form trusting, loving relationships with them over time. Cheryl Jacobs, a registered nurse specialist, returns to the homes of the Ralstons and the Bridgers following the birth of their babies to explore the newborn touch point and together discover the amazing capacity of their newborns. Good to see you guys. Like I said, it seems like I just, you know, it's been a while since I've seen you and it's just four and a half, five weeks have gone by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look at this little bundle. Yeah, huh? Little baby cannon. And look how he's looking at you, Mom, right in the face. Mm -hmm. Do you find he does that often? Yeah. And really he, gets fixed on your face? He does, yeah. And we were just at the pediatrician's office, and he said that he, like six weeks, I guess, he'll start seeing color. So uh -huh. we'll really start to notice him following Tracking us all over. More. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Dad? Do you find that when you talk to him, he's really tuning his own in on your face, too? Yeah. Like, every time I pick him up, though, he looks at me like he's confused. Like, I don't think he knows who I am yet. <laughs> so it's like every time, it's kind of like, I don't know if he has, like, baby amnesia, but it's like every time I pick him up, he's like, who are you? Uh -huh. What are you doing with me? He stops to look in your face? He does. He does look in my face. He looks very puzzled, but yeah. Yeah. Babies love faces, and that's where they get their cues. Really? You know, okay. As to what's going on, since they can't talk to you, uh -huh. and they don't quite understand what you're saying, but uh -huh. by, by your intonation and your voice, by looking at face, that's how you'll start. So they can read your body language? That's how you start communicating with each other. Really? Exactly. That's how communication is going to start with you guys. He's going to look at you and say, is this Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, okay. and by your reaction, he'll know if it's okay or not. Oh, wow. And that's okay. how the give and take is going to start. You're probably already in tune with a lot of his cues that he's given you right now. Is it, not only his facial expression, but his behavior. Right. So what do you think you guys know about him already in this four weeks of life? Um, well, I know he loves his uh, binky. He loves his binky. <laughs> that I know. Yeah. He okay. loves that. He loves, he loves to be held. Yeah, he loves to be held. He doesn't like to be put down. Right. That's the only other thing. So he's always in somebody's arms. Uh-huh. Um, he doesn't like uh, cold, wet wipes <laughs> when he gets his diaper changed. He does like warm baths, though. He, okay, he yes, will always yes. relax in the bathtub. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, some kids, you know, they don't, they're not too favorable of getting their clothes off. Right. So he likes that. Yeah, he does like that. You know a lot about your little one already. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what do you find that calms him down? What have you guys tried with him that works the best? I got my new little tactic. Like, I, I wrap him in a blanket, and then I sit. We have a rocking chair in the bedroom, and so uh -huh. I'll get it dark in there. And then, yeah, and then I'll, like, uh, usually, like, uh, sing to him. Uh -huh. And then I, I think because he doesn't like my singing, he, he then fakes like he's asleep. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So that seems to work. That That's my little go-to remedy is rocking yeah. in the rocking chair. And every kid's a little bit different, mm -hmm. right? So how's it going for sleep, Mom? Uh, he, he's waking up probably maybe twice a night. Um, okay. But still, it's, you know, just... It's it's been tough. Like I, I find myself taking naps during the day. Yeah. With him. This is a hard time to yeah. go through. Mm -hmm. He likes to eat. Yeah. And he knows exactly when it's time to eat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and like she wasn't here to get him a bottle ready and so I'll give him his little his little binky there. Uh -huh. And it like fools him for about fifteen seconds and then he realizes it's not a bottle. Uh -huh. And then he lets you know about it. So he likes yeah. to eat very regularly. I didn't realize that you were still breastfeeding, so that's... Right. So you're pumping and giving it? I pump it, yeah, and then give it in a bottle, yeah. Uh -huh. And what's your plan for doing that? Uh, probably, I mean, I would say at least till, you know, we start introducing him to food. Have you noticed different kinds of cries that he makes? Like, do you... Oh, he has a hungry cry, definitely. You have yeah. a hungry cry? Uh-huh. So hungry that's... cry, yes. He has get the cold, wet wipe out of there cry. Uh-huh. Um, pick that's, me up cry. Pick me up cry. So yeah. you've already told me three. There's actually six different kinds of cries that they have. Oh, so we, so we recognize three. three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you notice he gets more fussy at the end of the day? 
Like I know, when so nightfall comes, is that something you guys notice? You know, the odd thing about him is at night he sleeps well through the night, and then oh. he gets up. The thing he does, he fights sleep right. really hard. That's the only thing. Getting and so, to sleep. like late right. afternoon before okay. bed, it's like he'll sit there and he does everything he can to try to stay awake and uh -huh. tries to hold his eyes open. Uh -huh. So that's a real challenge. But when you finally yeah. get him down, he's good. Okay. So what you were describing, Dad, is what we call going from one state of consciousness to another one. Okay. And babies uh, sometimes transition through that really easily, some babies, and some babies it's much harder for them. Okay. So that's what you're seeing. When he comes to an awake state, when he's asleep and he starts to come to an awake state, right. he may come into it really easy and gentle and just eh, 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 make a few sounds to say, I'm waking up here, does anybody <laughs> right. care? Uh -huh. Or he may just wake up and come to this full blast screaming. And then it sounds like what you're saying is when he goes to sleep, he's just really, oh, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. I'm really fighting this until he gets oh, yeah. down. Oh, yeah. So that may get better with time. With age, he'll probably go through those transitions a little bit smoother. Uh-huh. Okay. But we look at baby states of consciousness because sometimes they're in this really, really deep sleep. And then they're in this sleep, partially sleep, asleep. You'll see their eyelids closed, but a little bit of movement under their yeah, eyelids. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. When they're in that, the REM, the rapid eye movement. Oh, okay. okay. Sometimes they're awake and they're looking at you and just kind of drowsy. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes they're awake and looking at you and very quiet. It's right. just a quite alert state. Calm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And sometimes they're just excited and right. fussy, and mm -hmm. then they go to that full blast scream. So they have different states of consciousness, and, and you'll be able to pick up on those and kind of know what the baby needs according to that, mm. which is okay. another cue that they're giving you. Right. Do you see him following you at all or we maybe do. tracking you a little bit, your voice? We there? notice sometimes. I mean, yeah. I mean, he, he does. Like if, if somebody's holding him and somebody will come up and start talking, uh, especially to him, his eyes will kind of, he'll go oh, over so to see what's going on. So he's hearing sounds and he's yeah. turning right. them? Mm -hmm. That's great. What's, what's he doing right now? He's just he's staring at me. He's staring at you? Yeah, Looking at you like he's in love with no, you, he's, huh? He's trying to fall asleep, but... He's trying yeah, he's fighting it again. Yeah. Is it okay with you guys if I make a little noise just to see what he does? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have this little container with some popcorn kernels in it. So let's just see if... <laughs> what happened? He made a, he didn't like that. He didn't like yeah. that, did he? So yeah. for that, for him, he may be a little bit sensitive to, you know, sounds that are going to be uncomfortable for him. Okay. So that tells you a little bit about maybe his, what his temperament's going to be like. Really? <laughs> we don't know yet. Or he's not going to play the maracas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> I think he's clearly telling us he doesn't care for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. by his facial features and, right. and his movement. He was trying to, working real hard at like getting away from it. So let's see what he does with this red ball. Let's see if, what you think if he can see this. Okay. I think he's awake. I'm going to stand up a little bit here. Yeah, let's he's got see. sleepy oh, eyes, but he's awake. Do you think he sees this red ball? He's, yeah, he's Oh, bald. do you see him trace that? Would it be okay if I hold him for a second? Sure. Okay. I'm going to see what strong boy you are. Oh. He's got a good uh, kung fu like grip on him. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. So when you put your fingers in his palms, he really grabs. Mm -hmm. He really, yeah, he latches on. I think he feels uncomfortable right now. Can you tell he's starting to fuss a little bit? What do you think that's all about? You think it's because his binky's not in, or because you're unfamiliar? I'm unfamiliar. Really? I don't hold the same. I don't smell the same. Right. I have a different hold than. She does. So he's already huh. saying, like, oh, this doesn't feel very comfortable to me. This is really? not my mom. I don't know who you are. And I'm really going to get really wound up. Yeah, I'm going to get really wound up. Hey, Cannon, if I talk to you, will that calm you down a little bit? He says, no, why don't you talk to your mom and see what happened? Hey, Cannon. Yeah, it's mom. Here I am. I'm still it's here. like, how do I get to you? <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> He's really getting wound. Yeah, so he heard your voice and he looked over there. Right. Let's check out his muscle tone. <laughs> See how they fly back up? <laughs> He's like, I. Do you notice he stays flexed most of the time? Pretty much flexed. Uh -huh. His legs are flexed. That's yeah. great muscle tone. Yeah. yeah, he really uh, fights and kicks when you're changing the diaper. It's like he's oh, yeah. riding in the Tour de France. He's, he's got those <laughs> things going. Let's turn, is it okay if I turn him on his tummy? Sure. Okay. Let's turn him over and see what he does. Did you notice when I lay him down, he turned his head sideways right away so he yeah. can breathe? Yeah. Right. And babies do that when they're awake, but sometimes we're afraid they don't do that when, when they're, they're sleeping. sleeping. So that's why we want to continue with back right. to sleep. To uh -huh. prevent sudden infant death syndrome. 
He's like, looks like, see his little crawling reflex he has there? Right. It's just a reflex, yeah. And they're born with another reflex called the gallant reflex. Uh huh. So they can help swim their way out. See how he swims to one side or the other side? Right. That's a built-in reflex to help them work their way really? down. Really? Oh, the, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, through the pelvic opening. Isn't that a wow, wonderful that thing? that is. See, so I have a lot of neat surprises for you guys. Wow. A lot of neat surprises. I didn't realize we got the deluxe model yeah, there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Look at this ball now. Do you see this red ball? Oh, do you see the red ball? Huh? God oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless, bless you again. Oh. Okay, Mom. I just letting you know I was sneezing. Bless you. Okay. See how he's almost talking yeah, to her. Yeah, he does. Her. He right. checks in a lot. To, yeah, he is checking in already. And when he looked at Mom, the tongue started going. <laughs> <laughs> is that your food source? Is that the person who feeds you? Huh? Is that the person who feeds you? He can actually start to imitate now a little bit. Have you guys seen him imitate you do anything? Like impersonations? No. <laughs> <laughs> like if you move your mouth a certain way, do you see him trying to, to do that or anything yet? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> like, wow. Okay, who they are, are amazing. <laughs> I think Cannon, look at me, baby. Over here. Here I am. Can you follow me over here? Can you follow my voice? Good job. Hey, how about over here? Can you follow my voice over here? Huh? Yeah. Very good. He says, you're really keeping me awake lately. <laughs> Let me see if I can get him to focus on my face a little bit. Hey, look at this. Look, baby, look. Did you see me do that? Let's try it. That's funny. Good job. Try it again. Watch this. Can you do that? Huh? I bet you can. I bet you. Oh, yes. I bet you can. <laughs> oh, I can let some twos for you too, lady. <laughs> I uh, heard you laughing, Mom. <laughs> Checking in. I'm still here. Okay. Mom's still there. Yeah. So see if you can do your tongue again. Let's try this again. Look. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? That's pretty Isn't neat. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That is pretty neat. Start practicing some of those things like that and watch him. He's really engaged. When he's quiet and in that quiet alert state, you mm -hmm. can make your, your mouth in the form of let, any shape you want, like a letter O or whatever. He'll start watching and learning from you. Really? And imitating what you're doing. It looks like he's really engaged with your face and just really both of you. And you know so much about him already. Yeah. They're pretty amazing little creatures, aren't they? Oh, I tell you. Really are. To be, well, he's, he's been great. on this earth for what? Um, one month? And yeah, little over a month. Yeah. And he's already like knows you. You kind of know a lot about him already. Yeah. And right. He's tracking with his eyes. He's checking in with you. Uh -huh. Um. He was imitating. He's doing a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions at all, just feel free to call us. I'd be, okay. glad, be glad to answer any questions that we can for you. Absolutely. It's so good to see you guys again. Good to see you. Well, good to see you as well. How's it been for you? It's going great. Yeah. It's going great. And yeah. look at that little one. Here. Oh, wow. Say hello. Uh -oh. Oh. There it is. There She's going to cry a little. This is what she does. A little bit. So what, what's she telling you there? What do you think she's telling you there? When she um, get me in the right position. Stop moving me around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you already know a lot about her. Mm -hmm. She's not in the position she wants to be in. Right. So, she, and I see her put her hand to her mouth. She's trying mm -hmm. to calm herself down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you I, see her do that when she tries to calm down? She does. Mm -hmm. That's a real good thing. We mm -hmm. haven't given her a pacifier. Okay. So that's her pacifier. Okay. And that's working for you. You want to take her? Yeah. See if I can rock her. Aww. What position do you think works the best for her to calm her down? She kind of likes this. She likes to okay. be rocked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Movement. Movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. 
And tell me about the feeds. How are feeds going for you? Um, she's going really well. She's nine, twelve. So she's um, they, the pediatrician she's says she's doing well. So she's getting enough to eat. So and are you breastfeeding exclusively? Yes. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Breastfeeding. You have to be so proud of yourself. That is such a hard job. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Excited. It's a tough job. It's, it's a full time job. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. Just constantly, all day long. 24 hours a day. How mm -hmm. often is she feeding? Um, it, well, at least every three hours. But okay. sometimes in the afternoon, every hour. I mean, it just okay. depends. But she, I mean, like two and a half or three hours usually. Mm -hmm. um, and usually for like 15 minutes, but sometimes a lot longer. A lot longer. It just mm -hmm. kind of depends. So sometimes they go through little growth spurts where they're trying to increase your milk volume. Right. And when that happens, you find that they'll feed more often. Every once in a while to bring up the volume of milk that they need. We've definitely noticed those. Yeah. The yeah. There were a couple of days where it's like she wanted to eat every hour. And you think you're doing minutes. something wrong and, and she's not getting enough food, right. but then we, when we speak with folks like you and they tell uh -huh. us well that's nor yeah. very normal so right because sometimes with newborns if you've never had one before you just don't know what to expect yeah you don't yeah. know what that's for sure. Sure. <laughs> and, it's, and it's tough isn't it, it it's is hard, hard for new parents to wonder sometimes am i doing the right thing yeah there's a lot of late night googling around uh -huh. trying to research figure out what's going on here yeah, last night how do i get my child to sleep in its crib uh -huh. <laughs> so what'd so. you find out uh, Every one you ask has a different, different opinion. opinion. <laughs> right. So. One of them said, put it in the car seat, <laughs> set the car <laughs> seat in the car. Like, I don't know about that. <laughs> what have you tried so far that's well, worked? She's been in the crib every night. Mm -hmm. it, it's just some nights it takes like 10 trips back to the okay. crib. Pick mm -hmm. her up, okay. calm her down, and put her back. She's not really up. ready to. She's not sleep, really yeah. ready. And our swaddle, and then she got to the point where she, she's got really strong legs, and she kicks her swaddle off, and then I'm afraid mm -hmm. she'll suffocate. And mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a lot for a new parent, isn't it? It's probably just wondering so many times, am I doing this right? Am I yeah. doing, you know, what's the right thing? Nighttime mm -hmm. is a little overwhelming because it's, it's scary, you know, to it leave them. It is scary. I know. Is she in the room with you? No, she's in her. I she's mean, in her room. They're just a foot just away from each other. Right, right, <laughs> right. But right. She's, so she's close, but she's in her room. I have a monitor. Because sometimes they can really sense that you're there. Mm -hmm. And when you leave the room, they have that sense that mm -hmm. the thing that I really love is gone. The thing that I... Because right. she doesn't have memory yet to know that when you leave the room, you're going to come oh. back. She doesn't have object permanence until she's about nine months old. Really? So when you leave, she just knows you're gone. So. She's wide awake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her eyes are so open. Yeah. How many days has she been in this world? Maybe... So tomorrow, tomorrow she's one month. month. Wow. She's four weeks tomorrow. Wow. Mm -hmm. What are some other things that you've learned about her or you know about her already? Oh. You think? Mm. Let's see. Mm, she likes to eat a lot. She likes That's to eat a lot. Sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. The hiccups. Mm -hmm. What else? I don't know. She's <laughs> she enjoys people. I mean, yeah. we've had a steady stream of visitors. And have you? They... She, it's not like she cries unless she's with Amy. She loves being yeah. just being held. Or she, she likes being with people, held. So we're trying not to. That's, I think that's one of the problems of getting her to go down in her crib. Is mm -hmm. all day long yeah. she's held. Right. So she, at nighttime she's like, mm -hmm. why, why do I get stuck in my crib now? Yeah. So. That's been kind of. And <laughs> and how much advice advice have you received from like relatives and friends about what to do? Right. Yeah, everybody's got something. <laughs> everybody's got something, right. Yeah, but that's but okay. That's, yeah. I mean, yeah. you just have to take it all in. and then Right, right. Yeah, shake it up and see what works for us. Yeah, so. right. The, the swaddling, how long do they swaddle? Because Until she does it feel like she needs it anymore. Okay. She'll start kicking she's, off. When yeah, she, she's yeah. already yeah, started she's kicking it Yeah, she's pretty over it already. Right, because so when, when she was inside you, she was touching. Mm -hmm. Every part of her was touching something. Mm -hmm. So when they first come out and they're not touching, they, they kind of freak out because they don't have that boundary. That's mm -hmm. why swaddling works to calm them down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now she's probably feeling more comfortable in her environment. Mm -hmm. So she, she might is. feel like she needs it anymore. So when we put her down, we put our hands over her and hold her. Uh-huh. That's for a, a great thing. And right. we slowly like, bag our hands away. Because even if she's asleep, her. she'll lay there and her muscles will just twitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that'll wake her back mm -hmm. up. So, they startle very easily. Right. right. So if we hold her still for just a maybe a minute, uh -huh. she'll every all her muscles re 
relax and then mm -hmm. she's asleep. Right. For a few minutes. And so what Hopefully. you're doing is actually just what we call grounding. Uh, We're just grounding her, no stroking, because that's going to stimulate right. just the hand on is right. grounding. Okay. And that kind of grounds her to where she is and she's like, okay, I'm okay. Well, we I'm right. not falling. <laughs> so you, look how much you, you guys are, you guys are great. Just by trial and error. Yes. You just have to try and mm -hmm. see what works. And then after a while you'll learn if she knows both of your voices, mm -hmm. because that kicked in at about four months old when she was in Euro, when hearing developed and she did by the pitch and the tone and maybe the rhythm of your voice that she recognizes you. She can distinguish you from, from me. She would wow. know the difference. If I pick her up right now, which I may do in a couple of minutes, we'll see that she'll That'd say, wait a minute, I'm not holding you the same. You don't smell the same. I don't think this is right. Mm. And she'll react to it probably. Okay. Mm. So is this time for her nap? Is this time when uh, she's like... Yeah, we don't really know. You just kind of go. <laughs> you don't have a schedule yet. That's something that... You're no, it's for. kind of wait time after she eats and right. then sleep shortly thereafter. She's been awake for a little bit, so... Uh -huh. Okay. Either way. We just tried, right, we try, well, we, we read that it's good to keep them awake and then put them to sleep, mm -hmm. but that doesn't always work. You just have to do what's best for her, because she'll right. have her own rhythm. She has her own temperament that she was born mm -hmm. with, and she'll have your rhythm of what goes on in your household, and then she'll just kind of get into a routine. And hopefully by four months old, you'll be into a nice routine, so you, you know what's regular for her. Right. When she's usually eating, and when she's mm -hmm. usually sleeping, and it'll become nice for you after a while, and you can say... Yeah. I get a little bit more sick now. Everything's mm -hmm. a little bit better in my world. Yes, that would be nice. Tomorrow is our know. first day without family. Okay, okay. So we've had my mother for two weeks and his mother for the month. I mean, they haven't been spending the night here, but they've right. been here every day. So they so spend tomorrow a is the first day. So, so we'll see what mm -hmm. happens. Yeah. So they spend a lot of time holding. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, holding. Mm -hmm. So she really hasn't had an opportunity to see what it's really going to be like right. for right. her. So tomorrow's going to be a new experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. I'm scared. <laughs> no. It, it is scary being a new mom because you just don't know what to expect. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we find that kids, when they're around a lot of noise, in order to protect their sleep, they can choose not to wake up and just go into yeah. a deeper sleep to get away from all that hmm. noise. If there's a lot of noise around, um, and that's called habituation. So right now I think she's in a pretty light sleep because they have different states of sleep. Have you guys kind of been aware of that, I've, how yeah. she's sleeping well, sometimes? Well, she, right. she'll open and close her eyes or she twitches and moves, and then sometimes she's just completely limp. She's completely yeah, sometimes her, well, like when you're holding her, walking her to go to sleep, she'll just, all yeah. her muscles will yeah. just... Yeah, that's when we try to in a really her. nice deep sleep. Mm -hmm. And then when they're in the light sleep, when you can see their eyes moving, mm -hmm. you can see their eyes moving underneath their eyelids, you, they're in mm -hmm. like the REM sleep, right. kind of dreaming, and they're kind of in a light light sleep and they do the same thing at night at night they go into really deep sleeps and they come into light sleeps and really deep sleep and mm -hmm. come to light sleeps and you'll find when she's a little bit older when she comes into the light sleep at night her central nervous system is going to wake her up when she's trying to learn oh. something new like how to sit up or how to crawl she's going to practice that hundreds and hundreds of times a day mm -hmm. and when she does at night time she'll wake up and she'll want to play and you're thinking oh my gosh oh, this no. kid was just sleeping all night i've got everything under control then it kind of starts to fall apart and you're thinking, oh, oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? Oh. And it's really not about what you're doing wrong. It's all about development. Right. Okay. And how right. about in the going to sleep? Is this just about all you'll see when she's trying to go to sleep? Is it just a little bit of fussing? Yeah, or, and I, I think maybe you're not supposed to do this, but if I feed her to sleep, then she'll, she sort of is limp and limp. passes out. And that's okay. So. You have to do what's best for you and what's best for her. So you really get to enjoy her. Right. You know. Was well, it okay if I bother her a little bit? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to come and sit with you. Okay. Annabelle. Mm -hmm. Annabelle, hi. I know you're so sleepy. I can see you're just a sleepy girl. Yes. She goes, I'm trying so hard to sleep, but people are bothering me. Everybody keeps bothering yeah. me. These lights so are on. bother her a little bit and just and just see what happens. Okay. okay, with this little rattle. Is it okay with you guys? Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, sure. let's see if she notices this. What do you think? What is that? She's, she's frown, kind of frowning a little. <laughs> she's like, hmm. <gasps> what do you think, she Dad? She flinched a little bit. She flinched a little bit. And she's pretty much awake now. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she... If she kind of looks to see if she can see where the noise is coming from. She may be a little bit too sleepy. She's got eyes she does have eyes. She's just looking at you like she's in love with you, Dad. Yeah. Babies really like faces. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they really like Mom and Dad's faces, too. She's getting a little bit... Mm, I don't know. 
I haven't really noticed her to look for stuff. Okay. I mean. Okay. I don't know. Maybe well, have you, like Amy? When I take my my ring off and rattle it, she kind of follows I can, it. I can get her to follow it. Yeah, she's looking okay. at that. Now. Which she's, that. she's just between awake and asleep, so I don't know if we'll be able to be successful with this. Mm -hmm. But let's just see if she notices this red ball because oh, yeah. babies really like the color red. Ah, what do you there think? Of, what do you think about that, Annabelle? Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, I've never seen her follow. That. Isn't that follow. amazing? What do you think about that red ball? Hmm? What do you think about that? She, wow. That's cool. Really? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. I've only seen her do that once yeah. or twice So before. she tracks very well. How about that? She tracks very well. Okay, let me hold her for a second. Sure. If it's okay. Yeah. I just love babies. I have the best job in the whole world. Yeah. And she's going to say, mm -mm. this is not my mom and this is not my dad. You don't feel right and you don't sound right and you don't smell right. I don't see if we can get her attention. Oh. Oops, oops, oops. I may have to give her back to you. Annabelle, can you see me? Hi, Annabelle, look. Hmm? Annabelle, watch. Let's see if she can imitate me. Let's try. Annabelle. You see that tongue come yeah, to the edge? Yeah, I did. Isn't that amazing? She can imitate already. Annabelle, you're beautiful. I've noticed her doing she's that when I make an O with my mouth. I she tries to imitate. Oh, isn't that amazing? It's okay. Oh, you guys are really making it together, right? It's okay. If we pull her legs up and then stretch them down, she would probably recoil them right back. Right. That's a really good sign of good muscle tone. You might try it with your arms too. Usually, usually when we put their arms down, if they pop back up. Oh! She has great, great muscle tone. What about her soft spot? You guys think it's there. Yeah, she has one here and then back here. One in the back, mm -hmm. right, right. Yes, yes. Yeah, she does. It's okay. And what about putting on her tummy? It's okay. Do you guys she has a little sometimes? mat and she has her tummy time. We try right. to do it every day for a few minutes. Uh -huh. And she's pretty strong. She's she pretty lifts strong. her bottom up in the her air. Her legs are really her strong. Are she strong. could scoot all the way across, but. She, she can't get her she, upper body okay. off the ground. So you see her legs kind of in a crawling motion? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. In a running motion. She's just, and then she, from day one when we got her home, yeah. she was doing that. And, and she, the pediatrician said it was just a, um, like a, a reflex it's a and reflex. not something she was doing intentionally. Right. But we saw her flip. Which way did she flip? I don't know. We saw her flip one way and we thought, Wow, she's not supposed to do that yet, but then she would never do it again. Right. And he right. said that it was just a reflex. Yeah. It wasn't something she had right. that she meant Still to do. Right. 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 Yes, they're born with that crawling reflex. Actually born with a walking reflex. Oh. Where she looks like she's just perfect. And you guys look like you're doing a wonderful job with her. You know so much about her already in just 30 days. That's wow. neat. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for letting me come back and visit you. Hey, I'm so happy. It's nice to see you again. Nice thank you for your time. And anytime you want to call, please call us. We'd be glad to answer any questions for you. But it looks okay. like you guys are completely resourceful and, uh, and you have get right on that computer and use Google. To, there's a lot of information <laughs> on a computer. There's too. a lot. Yeah. Good and bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So you have to just use what's best for you and your, right. and your child. I hope you enjoyed our program. Join us next time on another episode of Positive Parenting Today as we continue to get to know families in our community and learn from their parenting experiences. We will continue to explore the touch points of child development as well as bring you topics relevant to the most rewarding role you will ever have, being a parent.